listen this is a mentality that changed my life that means there is an advantage i have beyond my background there is an advantage i have beyond the geographic reference you may associate me with we live in a world today where one of the biggest problems of young people is identity crisis the inability to have a scripture based understanding of who you are unfortunately we live in a world today that prides in suggesting all kinds of things if you do not know who you are the world has a plethora of templates that they will make you pick anyone from there are people who have become weak because the world told them they were weak there are people who have become mediocre because the world told them that remember when the spies the 12 spies returned back some of them brought an evil report and they said we were in our own eyes like grasshoppers he never said we were in the eyes of satan he never said we were in the eyes of god like grasshopper based on our own perception this is our conclusion that we were like grasshoppers and caleb steal them and said let us go up at once for we are able that's why i raised that song it's not just a song that you should sing just casually it's a revelation you must know who you are you must know who you are the world that we live in will bully you look up please the world that we live in will bully you many of us you go to high institutions of learning and you will see all these people carry you know different forms of living and they can bully and intimidate you many times they make you feel stupid for being responsible many times they make you feel out of place for being godly and on fire they try to downplay your 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 fire for god they try to downplay your spirituality and they make it look like you have to choose whether to be spiritual or to be technological no many of you looking at me now have given up your spirituality because you want to give a context that you are modern or contemporary no sir i remind you this life that you have is a life of god in you this life that you have is the life of god this grace that you have is the grace of god in you this grace that you have is the grace of god listen this light that you have is the light of god in you this light that you have is a light of God when you are full of yourself listen or when you are full of the light of God I should say it produces a healthy confidence not pride not pride but you know who you are when someone comes to look at you and say young lady the way you are looking you are looking as if you are not in our world and our generation you can appreciate them for their perspective sincerely but then stand true and stand confident over what you know god has made you you see that our generation is bankrupt of conviction we can become anything depending on who is talking no there are many of you god is raising you to be the next apostles and prophets and evangelists but right now you are about to give it give up that noble call because of some ill-informed respectfully speaking arrogant people who are in ignorance who want to downplay your passion and your fire for god some of you will be the next politicians some of you will be the next heads of government and while you are walking in the path of discipline and responsibility that leads to this kind of enviable destiny there are ignorant people who cannot do much in your life but will downplay your passion and commitment 
I remind you this life that you have is the life of God in you this life that you have is a life of God listen the next time anybody wants to bully you out of your conviction out of your identity you don't need to fight don't waste your time trying to defend yourself the Bible says haven't done all to stand stand you don't have to fight and quarrel and insult people no 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 if someone looks at you and feels you are stupid no problem did they not think Joseph was a fool but later on when he became prime minister there are some of you those who are laughing at you now one day they will open the door of an office to seek for help and guess who will be seated there and the same tongues you were praying while they laughed you will still be praying it in the office the same bible they laughed at you for holding will still be on your desk there while you are ceo i won't go back can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me i won't go back can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me please hear me by this admonition god is already speaking to someone you have already come too far the world is making you look like you are wrong receive the grace to continue receive the grace to continue 